I need some information. If the matter is important, certainly. Um... Are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Um... Where would I find the Reverend Mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Are you the only protection this village... <laughs> Are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Bummer. How do Templars fight against magic? We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the Darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. Hmm. Tell me some... Tell me about something else. If the matter is important, certainly. Everything I ask is important. What can you tell me about that imprisoned Kunari? I was there at the farmhold. The beast stood there, wet with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. Hmm. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right, and the Maker has love for all his creations, even the Kunari. Kunari definitely intrigues me. I mean, is he really a heartless murderer? Or is there a lot more to him? Um... Is there a way he could be released? You can ask the revered mother. I say let him rot until the Darkspawn claim him. Have you heard any recent news? Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us? None of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. King Kaelin had no heir? None that we know of. Tern Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. That's an interesting analogy. Um... <laughs> I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. <laughs> I'm very amused whenever I say that. Sir Donal. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donal? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Um... Tell me more about this Urn of Sacred Ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Uh, I'd like to hear what you've learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Who is Sir Henrik? My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, about that. Your friend Sir Henrik is dead. I have something of his. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Um... Is there a reward, perhaps? A reward? Oh, uh, of course. I hope a sovereign is sufficient. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Um... So your quest for ashes brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. 
I was hoping to meet Arl Eamon, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? I would prefer not to say. I think I think Angelus is being a little cautious still around around humans. Whatever the reason, the Arl won't be seeing anyone until he's recovered. I don't like the sound of that. We should see Arl Eamon for ourselves and find out what's happening. You can travel to Redcliffe if you like. Perhaps he has recovered. Or perhaps his son might assist you. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Shouldn't she be fleeing the Darkspawn? My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Alright, well I should go then. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. That's right. That... Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. If I remember correctly, that scholar Brother Genetivi in Denerim. Um, we'll keep that in mind. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be forgiven. And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world, let it rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. And then shall the Maker return to us. And then shall the Maker return to the Black City in heaven. And then shall the chant of light make it pure. Let all mankind be humbled. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be forgiven. And when the chant spreads across all four... Wow, all right. I'm just checking my my coercion. I need corners 16 of the world. to get expert coercion. Is there anything else that you want or needed to say, Sir Brian? Hello again. What can I do for you? Uh, all right, fine. I guess uh, I guess I'll mention it to him. I'm hoping you can help me. I'm a Grey Warden. I see. That is certainly worthy of notice. Tan Logain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. The Grey Wardens did no such thing. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Um, is there any other help you can offer, then? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. Uh, okay. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Uh, thanks. I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. And then shall the Maker return cool. To then shall so the that's the chant of light the black city in heaven. that they're reciting right and over there. The Angelus is actually very... You ever wonder if that's an accurate likeness of Andraste? Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had buck teeth. Only the word know? dispels the darkness upon us. Praying for help from and a prophet the maker they burned, spoke, and a god who has turned his back on them not once, but the twice. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Those who seek redemption be delivered. But those Ventures who have sinned be forgiven. And the codex update. I don't know what this is updated. No, oh, the sacred ashes of Andraste. Only one person witnessed Mayfereth's betrayal. Havard the A. Aes? Aes? I never knew how to pronounce that. Um, a childhood friend of Mafereth. He accompanied his chief to the meeting with the Tevinters, not realizing what was planned. When he understood that Mafareth was giving Andraste over to be executed, Havard, unwilling to draw swords against his friend and liege, placed himself between Andraste and the Tevinter soldiers. The Tevinter struck him down, and Mafareth left him for dead. Gravely wounded, 
Havard made his way to the gates of Minarathus to stop the execution. When he reached it, the terrible deed was already done, the armies on the plains long since dispersed. Havard, cursing his weakness, gathered the earthly remains of Andraste and had, that had been left to the wind and rain and wept. When his fingers touched the pile of ash, his ears filled with song, and he saw before him a vision of Andraste, dressed in cloth made of starlight. She knelt at his side, saying, The Maker shall never forget you so long as I remember. The song faded, and the visions with it, and Havard was alone, but his wounds were healed. With new strength, Havard took up the ashes of Our Lady and bore them back to the lands of the Alamari. Fearing that, Maf Malar ugh, that Mafareth's supporters would defile them, Havar took the ashes of Andraste to a secluded place high in the mountains, and there he carved from the living rock an urn to hold them. Time passed, and the whereabouts of the urn faded from memory. Perhaps it was the Maker's will that only the most worthy should find his beloved's final resting place. Now we have only the legends, such as that of the Chevalier Loth Lothair, who requested to find the urn to save his dying daughter, and either found it in time to cure her, or returned a hundred years after her death. The ballads end less than certain on that point. From Thetis, Myths and Led Legends, by Brother Genetivi. Huh. There's that name again, Brother Genetivi. Leliana, you mind unlocking this for us? I mean, you... you you're not really stealing from the Chantry, you're a Chantry sister. We're just asking you to, you know, use... Ooh, a bronze symbol of Andraste. We're just asking you to, you know, um, make use of the resources that were already available to you this whole time. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light... Hey! Patrick Grinch, you're, you're someone I need to talk to for one of our quests. Yes? What can I do for you? I have a letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. And when the chart spreads down, across all four corners of the world... Let it rise at last this to the ears weird. of the Maker. Nice. This is the cabinet Let that Sir Brian gave us a key for. Fate. Let him hear. We have a health poultice, lesser injury kit, Kunari commander boots. Ooh, Kunari commander boots. And two ancient elven boots. I don't need two of them, there but alright. righteous all right. dedication and enduring perseverance. And then shall the you, miss, what is your name? You seem quite odd to me. You would not be the first to think so. But avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Let's get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. Let all hey, hey, hey. Be humble. You leave Morrigan alone. Please do not cause a disturbance. Matters are delicate enough with all the newcomers. Oh, look. It's the Reverend Mother herself. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. Of course Angelus is going to make a donation to the Chantry. He's, he's a fan of the Chantry. Um, what tithe is acceptable? Might I suggest 30 silver? Um... I can offer five sovereigns. These poor souls will weep at your generosity. Thank you. What can I do for you? Angelus then? believes that the Chantry... Angelus believes the Chantry does good work. And seeing everything, all the despair in this, in this village, he figures five sovereign is a very small price to pay um, if, if, he, if he thinks that in the hands of the Chantry they'll be put to good use for these people. That's Angelus' belief, at least. Um, I want to talk about Sten, the Kunari you imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? He fascinates me, actually. Um, 
what exactly did he do? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. Mm. The child said his father had found the canary gravely wounded and took him in. That kindness was repaid with murder. The bandsman found the canary just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them. That's really weird. They found Sten wounded, they took him in to try to treat his wounds, and then he just outright attacked them? And then when the guards came to to take him away, he didn't resist at all. That's... There's, there's gotta be more to this story than meets the eye. Um, are you certain he did it? He confessed quite readily, but would give no reason for the crime. Even the seasoned knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That canary is a danger. Yes, but that danger might be good, put to good use. What if this causes an incident with his people? The Maker demands justice, regardless of his race. Is there any way I can convince you to release him? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Um... Well, I was thinking you might release him into my custody. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These oh. are unusual times, your reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Sorry about that, folks. Um, my game actually ended up hiccuping for a moment there. But uh, you didn't really miss very much. Essentially, uh, the Reverend Mother told Liliana that she trusted her and decided to give us the key to Sten's cage. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and free Sten now. Yes? What can I do for you but now? Let's see if... Let's see if, um... We can get anything else out of the Reverend Mother. Uh, Angelus does, does trust her. So he'll he'll let her know if um let her know that he's a Grey Warden. I'm a Grey Warden, I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here. Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tan Logain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Um <laughs> So I've heard, but it is Logain who betrayed the king. Tan Logain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... I appreciate it, Reverend Mother. Can you provide any help to the Grey Wardens at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. No problem. Now... If there is nothing else? One more thing. Uh, could you... I was hoping to receive your blessing, Reverend Mother. For a Grey Warden? Yes. You have a difficult road to walk, don't you? In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over his path, O Maker. Give him light in darkness. Thank you, Reverend Mother. So let it be. So let it now, be. Now, if there is nothing else? Uh, perhaps I should go. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Uh, Morrigan didn't quite like that. <laughs> it's okay, Morrigan. It's okay. And when the chart spreads across all four corners of the world, let it I was surprised she actually, you know, bowed her head there, or got, or knelt at that point. I expected her to remain standing, but I guess even she realizes that she should probably just play along. As you wish. Alright. Let's go and see if we can free that Kunari guy. Hmm. It's 
make sure there's nothing else that uh, Liliana can <clears throat> unlock for us. Hmm. Thought there was a chest over here somewhere. No. Yeah, I think we've finished. I think we were done stealing from the refugees. All right. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. All right. Let's make our way back to the Kunari, folks. I'm wondering, Morrigan, do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random, then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. That's a very interesting conversation, you two. Really makes uh, some of us stop and think. It's a very, very interesting conversation. And I love that about this game. Um, they don't just banter for banter's sake. A lot of the... Most of the banter actually has substance to it. And that's a very good example of one of them. And it really helps you to get to know um, the characters even more. Alright, Sten, Sten. You wish something more of me? I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. She agreed to release you into my custody. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. So shall it be. Very well, I'll let you out. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Well, thank you, Sten. Glad to have you with us. I hope. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Perfect. Alright, so we've had quite a bit of screen time with Alistair oh, and... Last and, last and damnation! I'm sorry, guys, but we've had... You've, you both have had enough screen time. Let's pop back on, um... Of course. Roland Gilmore and the new guy, Sten. The new guy, Sten. Blast it! Yes. There we go. Vashadan. Vashadan. Of course. There we go. Can I not? Blast it! Oh, I think I know what's wrong. Sten? Yes. And Gilmore. Of course. There we go. I was like, why couldn't I choose those two? There we go. All right. Vinak Hall. Let's see. Ooh, a Kunari thickened cap. That's fitting. And didn't we have some Kunari boots too? Yes, but. He can't wear them yet because they're made of dragon bone and you need 42 strength. Oh my gosh. But we can give him heavy chain mail. Heavy chain mail. And chain mail gloves. And. I think that's good. And. Roll Gersh or Gilmore. Sir Gilmore can have the soldier's helm. And. Yeah, these are.
are made of iridium. These are pretty good. I don't want to necessarily pull anything off of him right now. I mean, <clears throat> we might want to pull clothes off of Roland later. Um, let's see. Sten, anyway. Sten, um... Yeah, heavy chainmail gloves, so we can get our... Wow. Sten's looking pretty shiny for a Gunari. And, um... Sure, plus 10% cold resistance and plus 10% cold damage. As for Sten, he is a, I believe, two-handed weapon kind of guy. So we'll give him the chastened flat blade. There we go. And let's look at his tactics. You're gonna be a scrapper as well. Nice. Nice.